marching rhythms of New York, New York. gone on here in Manhattan, but, and there's only one Hollywood Squares, right? No! No! We're not the only Hollywood Squares. There's another Hollywood Squares. Uh, it takes place in Saratoga, New York. You're going to love this. It goes on the air each evening just after we go off. It's hosted by a young man named Scott Reside, and, well, here's what it looks like. And this is your host, Scott Reside. You'll be hosting your own show by next year. <laughs> Let's hear it for Thank Scott Rasai. Thanks, Scott. Thanks for being on our show. Let's meet our contestants, Luzanne Borg. Welcome, Luzanne Borg. Hi, Luzanne. Tell us, guys, all about yourself. Hi. I live in Mass Peak, Long Island, and I do skincare. <laughs> I do skincare in a salon in Huntington, and I'm happy to be here. Hope you make lots of money on the show. Yeah. Good luck. On my right, welcome Glenn Niver. Hi, Glenn. Hi, John. 
Tell us, sir, something about yourself. I'm a symbologist and I reside in East Northport, Long Island. And I have a lovely wife, Diane, and two beautiful daughters, Valerie and Laura. Good luck on the show, Mr. Symbologist. 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 Yeah, we all know what a symbologist is. Symbolic, of course. We tossed a, a souvenir token of the Empire State Building last, uh, before we came out here. Glad you won the top. Take a square. Let's get started. It's Joan Rivers. So, Joan Rivers! George Washington and Abraham Lincoln... Uh, I dated them. <laughs> They both said that this was the most important person in their whole lives. Who was it? The great-grandmother of Donna Wright. <laughs> There's only one Joan Rivers. Um, uh, the most important person in their lives. Yeah, they said um, that. You know, it's men always say this, and I believe it's from one of them. Um, a mother. Glenn, what do you Their think? Mother. I'll agree. Next, get the square. That's it. Thank you, Joe. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? I'll go to John J. Bullock. Jim J. Bullock. Hey, right, there we go. Jim, what, yes. what popular game involves a rope, a candlestick, a lead pipe, a revolver, a wrench, no help from my audience, please, and a knife? An evening stroll through Central Park. <laughs> I love you people. Bye-bye now. Uh-huh. <laughs> a rope, a candlestick, a lead pipe, a revolver, a wrench, and a knife. Oh, I saw the movie. I believe it to be Clue. Luzanne, what do you think? I agree. That's it. Quickly, get the square. <laughs> Glenn Niver, pick a square. Ben Vereen. Ben Vereen. <laughs> Here's your question. It's about What's my the, question? It's about the first Thanksgiving, according to the World Book. Who brought the turkey? You know, Thanksgiving has always amazed me, and I think that that was a holiday was created to get rid of those ugly birds. You know, they had to get rid of those birds, so they said, let's have Thanksgiving. And I believe that in order to bring a sort of a, a feeling of uh, welcome, the pilgrims brought the Thanksgiving night. Well, and what do you think? He says the pilgrims. I agree. The Indians brought the turkey. Ah! The circle gets in Pick a square. I mean, those Debbie Gibson. Debbie Gibson, hit record. <laughs> Debbie, your biggest hit was only in my dreams, yeah. right? And what is Dr. Joyce Brothers? If you have romantic dreams, you should know about dreams. Yep. <laughs> is the man in the dream probably a stranger, or is it someone you know? I would say that it would be someone you know, because if it was a stranger, you wouldn't know who they were. Blue Sam, what do you think? <laughs> I disagree. No, she's right. Someone you know. X gets the square. Glenn Niver, pick a square. I'll go with Allison and Brian. Allison Smith and Brian Bull. <laughs> Allison, you played, before you did Kate and Allie, you were in uh, Annie on Broadway. Could you do a little bit of tomorrow for us? And I'll ask you a question about it. Here's your question. What current Broadway musical has now been performed over 5,100 times? This is for the win. Um, a chorus line. Glenn, what do you think? I agree. Yeah. Yeah. X gets the square. Five, <laughs> what do you like, guys? Keep the square in the set. Radio City Music Hall. Thank you. Florida, John. Yay! Hollywood, Florida, you and your 
Our guests will fly from New York to Florida in the comfort and convenience of Continental Airlines full service flights furnished by Continental Airlines. And you'll enjoy a six night, seven day stay at the new Diplomat Florida on the ocean at Hollywood, Florida. Enjoy all the sports facilities, great golf and tennis, waterfall pools, sumptuous cuisine, star studded shows. It's the tropical paradise of Diplomat Florida. Thank you, Shadow Left the Real Secret Square, our home audience only. By the way, you know, we failed to introduce someone sitting right next to Shadow throughout the show. The number one radio personality in New York City on Z100, yeah. Scott Cannon. By the way, thanks to John and Shadow for coming on my morning radio show and destroying the whole thing. No, we had fun. He was show. great. He was great. It's a great, exciting, fun show, isn't it, John? Anyway, thanks, Scott, and congratulations. One more girl say, I don't like blonde men, but I'll make an exception for Shadow. Right. <laughs> with the game. Luzanne, your turn. You gotta catch up. Pick a square. Happy Lee and Frank. Yeah. Happy Lee and Frank. Happy Lee and Frank, you're, you must be New York City buff, right? Let's see how much you well, really know. Is this is such a great crowd, though. They're wonderful. Yes. Yeah. Gang, there are 19 bridges. 19 bridges connect Manhattan with other boroughs of New York. Frank and Kathy Lee, take a look at the monitor. Here you see the George Washington Bridge, right? Yes. Next up, you see the Brooklyn Bridge. Next up, that is the Triborough Bridge. Your question is, here is the top of another famous bridge. Now, which bridge is it? Uh, Usually we know our bridges. We're yeah. very up on our bridges. the Manhattan Bridge? You're saying the Manhattan Bridge. Okay, Luzanne. Luzanne. Luzanne, what do you think? I'll agree. Well, let's go back to that videotape. Maybe it'll show us a little bit more. See what it is. There you have the 59th Street. Oh. <laughs> the square. John, you know what's hysterical? What? We live right underneath that bridge. Block of window. You should get out more. I think so. Where's the square? Uh, Allison, Smith and Brian. Yes, Allison and Brian. Allison and Brian, according to the Ladies' Home Journal, within one year, what is the average age young people start dating? Uh, I would go with uh, basically about in the area of 13. 13, what do you think? Glenn? No. Because you have to be with one year, the answer is 15. We would have bought 14, but Circle gets the square. That's according to Ladies' Home Journal. Lizanne, Glenn, the square. we're Joan sorry. River. <laughs> Joan Rivers, our center square. Joan, what do you call something that happens only once every two years? Oh, for me, that would be cooking. But, uh, um, bi biannual. Biannual. Lucanne? I agree. That's it. Circle gets a square, yes? Yeah? Glenn Marvel, pick a square. Uh, Debbie Gibson for the block. Debbie Gibson, our hit record artist. Hi, Deb. Hi, Don. Yeah, we've all heard of the Los Angeles Valley girl. But, like, for sure, where do they, like, where do they, uh, come from? Oh, like, oh, my God, like, oh, my God. Um, where do Valley Girls come from? San Fernando Valley? She says the San Fernando Valley. This would be for the block, Glenn. I disagree. No, she's exactly right. I live there in the Valley. Oh, Can't put a circle in. Have to earn it yourself. Now, Lucent. I want to win the game. Play it safe, huh? <laughs> you want Debbie Gibson. Debbie, we're back to you. According to the music industry publication Billboard, I'm sure they have your record listed right there. Yep. <laughs> he was the youngest person ever to have a number one single, and he was just 13 years old. At the time, who was he? Um, I think I'd say Michael Jackson. He's saying Michael Jackson. Louisiana City for the win. What do you think? No way. <laughs> I'll go with uh, Lynn Redgrave. Lynn Redgrave, oh, yeah. movie star, television star, weight loser star. Yeah. I'm compelled to take off anything red. Lynn, Matahari, Matahari was the famous spy of World she War was, I. John. You weren't even alive then, how do you? But uh, did she do, what did she do before she became a spy? I think she was a Farm girl. A farm girl. Glenn? I'll agree. No! Glenn! She was a dancer. A dancer. A dancer. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 I'
Cannon. Think of Square with Ann. Lost two. What did she do? Battle and Top Cannon. Yeah. Yay. All right. Guys. Yes. You know, many people maybe don't know, Shadow. You started in radio, and so you guys have something in common, yes? Yeah, we're all radio, bud. He's my hero. Here's a question about famous radio team. Freeman Gosden and Charles Carell. They enter entertained millions when they were known as who? Famous and Andy? Charles Carell, Freeman Gosden. This is for the win. Uh, what do you think? Love and Andy. Lum and Abner. Lum and oh, Lum. Abner. Lum and Abner. Yeah. Luzanne, these guys are in radio. What do you think? This would be for the win. I disagree. Circle gets the square. Amos and Andy. Very nice. We'll be right back. We'll take a break. Amos and Andy. What a good team. We'll be right back after this. Some Hollywood Squares cast and crew furnished by Delta Airlines serving three New York airports with non-stop and connecting flights. As Delta, we love to fly and it goes. Mm -mm -mm. Welcome back. We have time for just one last question because we've had so much fun today. We have a tie game, 500 to 500. Glenn, yes. pick a square. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons, it gets down to you. With the help of the secret high school marching band, no self-respecting marching band. No self-respecting mark would be caught without one of these instruments. What are these instruments? That instrument is the hardest instrument to spell. But it's the prettiest instrument. It's the instrument that the angels play in heaven. And it's called glockenspiel. I disagree. No, it is a glockenspiel. He's right. Circle is the square. Luzanne Borg is our new champion. Suzanne, congratulations. A xylophone is one you can't carry around, I guess. Anyway, Glenn, you did well. You won $500, and we appreciate you being here. Say goodbye, Glenn. Bye-bye, Glenn. Bye-bye, now. Suzanne, it's our Friday show, and it's our last chance to try and give away a car. I have a bowl full of keys. One of these keys will start one of the deep. Pick a key. It'll start one of them, I guarantee it. Now, which deep would you like to try? We'll try the Wrangler Sahara. Oh. The Cherokee Limited. Oh, the Grand Wagoneer. The Wagoneer Limited. Suzanne, what do you think? Cherokee. Cherokee, yeah. Cherokee. Go for it. We'll be right back. Suzanne, her Cherokee. Stay with us this Friday from Radio City Music Hall. stars as the good luck celebrities and this beautiful Cherokee. Shadow, what is the Cherokee? Why, the Cherokee is everyone's favorite 4x4. Four four. This Ford utility vehicle is designed to offer the comfort and convenience of a wagon plus the fun of a Jeep both off-road and on the highway for his five Jeep Corporation. Thank you, Shadow. On the count of three, turn that key. Good luck. Ooh, every audience of stars, jump around. One, two, week only one but we have also a gift for you Luzanne for thank you for being on the show shadow what do we have for Luzanne well it's a Magnavox video escort a compact fully automatic camcorder with a high speed shutter to capture fast action and play it back instantly furnished by Magnavox thank you for joining us from Radio City Music Hall have a nice weekend we'll see you on Monday when our guest will be from square one Joan Rivers from impressionistic comedy, Jim Morris. From TV stage and screen, Steve Allen and Jane Meadows. From the Northwest corner, Jim J. Bullock. From the comedy stage, Yakov Grunov. From the boxing world, Don King. From the head of the class, Christine Hodge and Kimberly Russell. From international music, Caro. Thank you.
is the new creamy broccoli, creamy onion and broccoli and cheese. They're the pick of the season. And Gatano is always on the cutting edge of fashion and design, offering up to the minute styling and exceptional quality. Gatano and this Christmas, give him the gift of Bruce. Or Bruce 33. Remember, there's something about a man a woman wants to be close to. Bruce, it smells like a man. And Ed shaving gel, the sixth lubricant defense against razor irritation mama. Oh. This is Don Alhart coming up tonight for News Center 13, getting ready for a blast of winter. Meteorologist Bill Peterson saying expect six or more inches of snow. Also tonight, we'll introduce you to Tyrone, the sweet party child. Those stories and all the news at six.